Celebrating what they're calling a landmark judgment. The UK government's been challenging the right of four Kenyans to sue it over alleged abuses up to 60 years ago. The British High Court now ruled the government could, in theory, be liable. <laughs> I was castrated, humiliated, beaten, and I have no family of my own. I am very bitter, but happy that the High Court has accepted our case so that we can sue for compensation. The four elderly Kenyans say they, like thousands of others, were tortured by British officials during the crackdown on Mau Mau rebel fighters in the 1950s and 60s. In London, lawyers for the Kenyans stress their main aim is moral, not financial. They're waiting for Britain to say sorry. We've put proposals as to how the entire community could benefit from some kind of welfare fund. So we've been very, very sensible and reasonable into the, with the proposals we've put to government. We don't think this is going to set a precedent in terms of other claims around the world, because frankly, Kenya was by far the worst example of what happened towards the end of empire. Britain's foreign ministry had argued responsibility for what happened in colonial detention camps passed to Kenya upon independence. It's set to launch another challenge, saying too much time has passed since the alleged abuses. But campaigners say any further delay in a settlement is an unnecessary insult. Thursday's judgment is by no means a final victory for the four Kenyan claimants, but their supporters are now confident that they will eventually get the compensation that they've been fighting for and an apology from the British government. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.